Varroa mites now a concern for beekeepers in Australia as it was first detected in Newcastle just a short while ago and I'm with Andrew Stanish from Australian Bee Supplies. Andrew, how are you mate? Great, how are you Tim? Nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Now I've spent the day with you and we've just brought out 20 hives now to an organic food producer out near the Grampians and one of the things that you had to show this food producer was how to do hive checks. Now we have to do two Varroa checks a year and three hive checks a year, is that correct? That is correct. That's that, our bare minimum. That's right, that's a requirement, a legal requirement that we have to do and we also have to do document all that. You can do it all online, mm -hmm. but, and that is a requirement as, as, as beekeepers. So you're now going to show us how to do a Varroa check without actually killing the bees. People think that to do Varroa checks you have to kill the bees, but you've got a way of doing it without having to actually kill them. Correct. There's two ways of doing it, an alcohol wash and a sugar shaker test, a test. A sugar shaker test will not kill the bees and it actually allows them to have some uh, icing sugar back into the hive and um, so, they all survive. So you're giving them a treat for their time? That's it. Well, let's go and find out no how you do it. Let's cool. get into it. That's it. <laughs> okay. So um, in beekeeping, there's a requirement of having to inspect hives um, three, two, three times a year and a minimum of three frames need to be inspected. We also have a requirement uh, at least twice a year to do what's called a sugar shaker test um, or an alcohol wash test and that is to check for veramide. We don't have it in Victoria yet but it will come soon enough in the next year or two. So this is a sugar shaker and a uh, alcohol wash shaker but I'll use it as a sugar shaker and I'll go through the steps of how you do it. It's quite simple. First thing you need is a bucket with water, Oops, like this, it doesn't have to be a lot, it can be 10 mil, 20 mil, but I've got a full bucket, your sugar shaker and you need some bees. So these are absolutely wonderful because you can use them both for sugar and for alcohol. For sugar we turn them upside down like this um, and for alcohol we pop them in that way. So what we'll do is we need to find our bees and our sugar. So this is our sugar. Oops. Oh look there's a little tiny girl that went in there already. We pop in about two tablespoons or more or less. Yeah, around that. It's not exact science. I'll pull the little girl out. Come on, Baba. There we go. So we've got our sugar in there. Next, we open our hive. And then you need to get some bees. Hive mat is perfect, newspaper, it really doesn't matter what. So what you do is you need to grab one of the cent center brood frames because there are love to breed in brood, especially drone brood. Important to check that you don't have a queen there because you could be in a little bit of strife. Uh, nope, not on this side. Uh, not on this side. And all you need is about 300 bees or thereabouts or half a cup. We get our bees into a sugar shaker, pop that on, so you can see the bees are in there. Now this is where people sometimes freak out, because you need to shake them good and proper. Okay, so it's not just a gentle gentle. The girls aren't fast, they're rough as guts, they know what's happening. So once you do that, about 30 seconds. So what happens is that um, icing sugar will dislodge any of the vera uh, mites of the girls and now what we do is we shake it into the water. So when we shake that into the water the icing sugar disappears because it will dissolve and if there was any mites they will be floating up the top. I know that that's just uh, dust and stuff so there's no mites. There we go. And the best part about this is once you finish with that you grab the girls and look, see they're all alive, they're all winning, they're having a jolly old time and we go sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle on top and they get a little tiny dessert at the same time. That's your sugar shaker test.